Hi, my name is Jordan, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how I use the skills that I learned in Science Olympiad every single day as a psychological scientist. To start off with, this is a picture of me in my freshman year of college going to my college's homecoming football game. If you look closely, you can see that I was wearing two t-shirts. The reason for this is because I was actually a participant in a research study that weekend. I was helping researchers determine if body odor was related to attractiveness. The researchers hypothesized that those with similar genetics to me would find my t-shirt that I had been wearing for three days to be stinky and unappealing, like I figure most of us would. But those who had similar or who had different genetics that were compatible with mine would find that smell to be attractive. The reason I was doing this was simple. There was no bigger love in my life than science. This love for science started for me as a middle schooler when I joined my Science Olympiad team. Science up until that point had been taught like history. These were the great men and women of our past who had figured out how the world had worked. However, this kind of skewed my perceptions of science. I thought that science was done and completed, that we had figured out everything that we needed to. However, that year in Science Olympiad taught me that science is still full of thriving and living fields. People are still conducting research and discoveries are made every single year. So that very quickly catalyzed my love for science and I ended up competing in Science Olympiad for five years at my middle school, Walker Middle School, and my high school, Bismarck High School in Bismarck, North Dakota. I competed in a variety of events, of events including experimental design, protein modeling, remote sensing, sounds of music, which you can see in this image here, write it, do it, it's about time, picture this, Road Scholar, and Science Word. These events were a really fun hobby for me at that time. I was being competitive, I was hanging out with my friends, and I was doing something that I was good at. But I didn't realize at that time how many of the skills that I was building how many of the skills I was building would actually translate into my future career. I credit Science Olympiad a lot for my success today. Today, I'm a graduate student at Kansas State University studying cognitive psychology, and I'm actually less than a year from getting my PhD, my doctorate. I also received a competitive grant from the United States National Science Foundation called a Graduate Research Fellowship, which helps me pay for my tuition and my living expenses as a graduate student. I owe a big thank you to Science Olympiad for helping me develop some of these skills that I'm gonna talk about that I use every single day. The first set of skills that I wanna address is scientific writing and communication. Scientific writing and communication is a huge part of your daily job as a scientist. However, as a high schooler, I didn't quite realize that that meant giving professional publications or speeches to colleagues. Since then, I've actually published multiple scientific studies and I've also given multiple talks, including traveling to Europe to present my results. But the, the skills that I used to write these papers and to give these talks are things that I learned in Science Olympiad in middle and high school. So for example, events such as Write It, Do It, Experimental Design, Picture This, and Science Word helped me learn how to communicate scientific ideas in different ways and be very clear about it. For example, with Write It, Do It, I had to write instructions for a different person who, would, for them to create something they'd never seen before. That level of precision with your language is really important when you're writing scientific studies that need to be replicated. Additionally, events such as experimental design taught me how to write method sections in a way that other people could understand them. And Picture This and Science Word taught me how to communicate scientific ideas in ways that I had never really thought about, using pictures or using very limited language in order to actually to get people to understand the things that you were saying. But in order to present your research, in order to publish your research, you actually have to do the research first. And that involves reading literature and setting up studies. Part of my job every single day as a psychological scientist is to actually set up and conduct research. I study relationships. And so I'm looking at how people determine someone is attractive, um, how they decide who they want to date or even who, who they want to marry. To do this, I'm designing experiments every single day. Right now, I have over 20 projects that are currently in the works. They are either designed and ready to go, they are collecting data, I'm analyzing the data, or I'm writing them up for publication. This is something that takes effort, skill, and training, but I was lucky enough to start this training when I was 13 in Science Olympiad. A lot of these events, experimental design, remote sensing, protein modeling, sounds of music, it's about time, and a lot of the other events that you're competing in today 
are all about understanding complex scientific ideas on your own and then applying those ideas in other contexts. This is something that I do every single day as a scientist. And experimental design was easily one of the most influential events that I had competed in because it actually taught me how to do the experiments that I'm currently doing today. But just like in Science Olympiad, the projects that I'm completing today aren't completed by myself. Some of the biggest skills that I learned as a Science Olympiad competitor were my teamwork, leadership, and relationship skills. I was team captain for my high school's Science Olympiad team. And in fact, I was the team captain for the first time my school ever made it to the nationals competition. As captain, I was responsible for helping coordinate study sessions, checking to see if everybody had all of their needed materials to compete in their events, and building good relationships with my teammates and helping identify their strengths. These are skills that I use every single day as I run my lab. I'm responsible now for scheduling research assistance and making sure they have the required training and supplies to complete the research. Almost the same thing that I did as team captain. I have to build good relationships with these people and make, make sure that they're learning what they need to learn in order to do our jobs. Again, this is something that's very similar to what I was doing as my team captain. Science Olympiad gave me some of the first opportunities that I ever had to practice these leadership and teamwork skills. These are only some of the skills that you learn as a Science Olympiad competitor. You as a current competitor are currently learning skills that could help you even a decade into your future like they're helping me a decade after I competed in Science Olympiad. Science Olympiad isn't just a fun time hanging out with your friends, you're learning things and I encourage you to consider the skills that you're learning. Talk with your teammates, your coaches, and your families to identify some of the career building skills that you're, you're working on today. And who knows, maybe at some point in the future you'll turn your love of discovery and science into a doctorate like I am. I would love to hear from you. Please contact me if you would like. My website is here on this screen and thank you so much for coming to my talk today.